the Sufi universe. In that spirit, my introduction will dwell briefly on what does it mean to be a Sufi, how the Sufi faith is simultaneously ancient and modern, and how it is woven into the fabric of the subcontinent. First, what it means to be a Sufi. You might have heard the Kavali, Allahu, which we shall be presenting later in the evening. Allahu is a truncated version of Allahu Akbar, which means God is great. When the Sufi poet edits it to Allahu, he says, God is. And therein lies the essence of the Sufi thought. God is, and it is for us to find him or her, whether in nature, or in our beloved, or in beauty, or in God himself or herself. An essential respect and love for all humanity is the underpinning of the Sufi philosophy. Second, how the Sufi faith is both ancient and modern. Another Kavali that will come up later is Chaap Tilak, which was composed by Amir Khusro in the 13th century. Amir Khusro is widely regarded as the father of Kavali, a linguist, he often composed poetry in which the first line was in Persian, the second in Hindi. Some of you might remember this song from the Hindi film Gulami, which became a rage during its time. Zihale miskin makun baranjish, bahale hijra hamar, bachara dilhen. This song was written by Gulzar Sahab and inspired by Amir Khusros, Zihale miskin makun tagaful, durai nena banai batiya. The first line is in Persian, the second in Hindi, and thus the song goes. That a song from 700 years ago could find its way into Bollywood and become a rage is a testament to the Sufi tradition, where one proponent builds upon the legacy of the previous ones. And it is common for a Sufi singer to weave two different songs which are thematically common into one. If you've heard Abhida Parveen, then you will know what I'm talking about. But going back to Chaap Tilak, the song is still sung today in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh during festivals, ceremonies and gatherings. It is therefore both modern and ancient, Sufi and Bollywood. Third, how Sufi is woven into the fabric of the subcontinent. We will end this introduction with Baba Bulle Shah, who is a 17th century Sufi poet and whose compositions are so widely used in Punjab both in India and Pakistan, that it is difficult to conceive that the lyrics were actually written by a particular person. For instance, when a discussion in Punjab on the vagaries of life and living reaches its amorphous conclusion, it isn't uncommon for a person to end it with a declaration, Bulla ki jana mein kaun? Yes, every Punjabi is Bulla and just as Bulla is in each Punjabi. I'm sure you've all heard the famous Bollywood number which saw Shah Rukh Khan and Malaika Arora dance atop a moving train. Chal chahiye, chahiye, chahiye. That famous rendition by Gulzar Saab from the film Dil Se draws upon Baba Bulli Shah's kafi, Tere Ishq Ne Chaya Kar Thaiya Thaiya. More of this as the evening progresses, let me leave you with a Sufi share, which to my mind sums up the essence of the Sufi thought. Chal me bulia chal othe chalye, jithe sare anhe. Come bulla, let's travel to that land where everyone is blind. Na koi apni jaat pachani, te na koi apanu manne. Where none recognizes our caste, nor sits upon judgment, but sees us for what we are, human beings. Aur ab jahane sufi ka agaz karate.